Talk to me about your son and his rise. This is a, this is must be a thing of God. It's meteoric. It's meteoric. Yeah, but you know something. It is not something that started a couple of years ago. I uh, I remember. Well, let me just go back to when he was maybe four. <laughs> That's going back. Uh, when he was four, I used to read Bible stories to him all the time, mm. and I would declare and proclaim the word of God of him. And I would just say, you know, Ted, you have been gifted above any man that I know. And God has destined you for greatness. And I started making declarations about the Word of God to him. Every day, every day, every day. When he was eight years old, I was very active in an organization called the Religious Roundtable. This was a coalition of Christians and Jews who was very instrumental in helping Reagan get elected. I was on the state board of the Religious Roundtable. So when my son Ted was eight years old, all we talked about around the dinner table was politics because I was so involved with the Reagan campaign. So uh, during that time is when I asked him so many times, you know, Ted, when I lost my freedom in Cuba, I had the place to come to. If we lose our freedoms here, where are we going to go? There's no place to go. Ted enters high school. The Free Enterprise Institute organizes a group of five kids, calls them the constitutional corroborators. Yeah. Now Ted is reading the Federalist Papers, the Anti-Federalist Papers, and each of these five kids memorize the entire U.S. Constitution. So before my son left high school, he was passionate about the Constitution. He was passionate about freedom and free markets and limited government. And before he left high school, he knew without a shadow of a doubt what his purpose in life was. Mm. And it was to defend and protect freedom and the Constitution, to fight for free markets and, and, and limited government. Mm. And it became a passion in his life. So this is not a trajectory of three years, it's a trajectory of 30 years.